Well, homes that have stood along the shores of Lake Orion for decades could be in jeopardy under a proposed development. The plan that calls for nearly 140 new apartments is at the center of a contentious debate tonight. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass is live with the latest on the public hearing taking place there. Brett. Yeah, well, Dave, the meeting just ended moments ago and no decision was made. The board decided to table the discussion until next meeting on what has become a very big and contentious issue. To those who call Lake Orion home, the water is an oasis in an otherwise busy metro area, and some who crowded into a Tuesday night meeting feel that's at risk. We just feel this is too big a development for our town. In question are three new developments along M24, bringing a total of 139 apartment units to the lake. During public comment, residents against the development argue it's too much. We are not really in a growth community. We have a finite area in which density is a problem and we're going to be enhancing that density. If you're going to say that that's not historic, that's the first house in Lake Orion. That's not historic. It's not even eligible to be listed. HGTV personality and Lake Orion native Nicole Curtis has been outspoken against the project, upset to see old cottages like this one, built in 1900, torn down. I don't want people to look at this as a lake issue. It's not. Um, this is an overall village and township issue. But some people don't want change at all. And I understand that and respect that, but that's not where we move forward uh, together for this growing community. The developers behind the project feel it will benefit the town. While this marina would be torn down and the slips reserved for tenants, the gas station will stay and no new boat slips are being added to the lake. Those that want to spread misinformation by Facebook and just conjecture and haven't seen the plans uh, have been against what they don't know. My family is glad to see this project. While many were strongly against it, others also spoke in favor, hoping in the end, the village moves forward with the new project. We feel it's time to let go of some of the old, unimproved, deteriorating aspects of our village and welcome new ideas and those who want to invest in our community and help move it forward. And it's unclear when the Planning Commission will now have their vote on it. It could take place at their next meeting, which is scheduled for October 3rd. But the developer also said they would be interested in scheduling a special meeting. Reporting live tonight, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.